All right, guys. Hey, it's Robert with Regenesis Outdoors. I wanted to give you a brief update on the Oryx chassis on my Savage 10 FPSR. Uh, and yes, that is some hog blood on my scope. Welcome to Texas. So if you watched any of my previous videos, you would have noticed that I had an issue with the factory magazine that you can order off of the Oryx website. Uh, this is the composite MDT magazine having the issue with the bolt actually hitting the back upper part of the magazine so that you cannot feed around. Uh, that all being said, I am having some accuracy issues with the rifle after putting the chassis on, so I'm going to end up retorquing everything down, taking it back out to the range to see how she does. Uh, the only other issue that I have is I actually ordered the front stud that doesn't actually come with the chassis off the website, and that stud actually is a different thread pattern than the chassis itself. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I did simply take off the stud off the factory uh, Savage AccuStock and it fit just fine. Uh, not too much heartburn. Um, now, given the fact that this is such a sweet looking chassis, it seems to be a very robust and well-made chassis, uh, you can overlook some of those issues. Uh, just something that I think Oryx can fix pretty easy on their end. Uh, so I'm looking forward to really getting into the nitty gritty with this rifle, uh, having some fun with it, seeing how well we can get her to shoot. All right, so given that I had the issues with the, the magazine, my buddy Will hooked me up with three different versions of mags. Uh, this is the P-Mag, uh, the metal version of that MDT magazine, then the ARC metal magazine with a three-round extension. So we're going to try each of those to see how they fit and see if we can load around. All right, before I get started, I just want to show that the gun is on safety. Obviously, safety is really important anytime you're messing with a gun. Uh, but once you activate the bolt, you get into the half safe, which is safe where you can't pull the trigger, but not on full uh, safety off where you can actually pull the trigger. All right, so back on safety and we'll start inserting magazines. All right, just to reproduce the issue that I showed in previous videos, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this one-handed, uh, which it's a little bit of a trick, pulling the lever, getting it to lock in. And this is the MDT magazine that's ordered off the Oryx website. So again, locked in place, Feels nice and snug. There's no play in it. Uh, we're going ahead and try to load around, and you can see the issue there. It really getting hung up. Uh, now, if I pull down a little bit, wiggle this down, you can load around fairly easily, but that's just annoying. All right, next up is the PMAG. Now, I think on Oryx's website or somewhere in the comments or support section, it identifies that the PMAG really doesn't fit. And uh, I think I can tell you why. If you put the mag all the way in, definitely goes in. It does not lock into place. You can see there's a lot of play in it. And you could just simply pull it right back out. So it doesn't lock in. However, you can't actually load around with it. So. I'm not going to mess around with that anymore. Third up is the MDT metal magazine. Again, bear with me as I do this one handed. Locks right in. Feels really good. A little bit of play, but not much. Uh, nothing front to back. Uh, I'm trying to load around. Definitely goes in nice and smooth. magazine comes in and out nice as well all right last up is the ARC mag locks in really well a little bit of play not much feels pretty good and loads around just fine all right in conclusion obviously there's an issue with the magazine that's ordered off the website the composite MDT uh, magazine Definitely something going on there. Uh, Oryx did contact me and say that they would send me a little bit shorter lever 
and that that should resolve the issue. Uh, I'm not real sure I want to do that given the fact that all these other magazines actually load pretty well and I'm probably just going to order the actual metal MDT mag. Um, but again, this thing is such a sweet looking chassis uh, and at the price point I think it's a good value. Uh, I mentioned that I had some accuracy issues. Uh, I'm going to retorque everything down and see if that has any improvement. Take it back out to the range and see how she does and we shall see. But really, this thing is so cool. I'm really rooting for it. I hope it works out well. Uh, I hope we get a lot of use out of it and a lot of fun. And uh, look forward to uh, giving you an additional review on it. Take care, guys.